right here on the repo linked in the description and you should be taken to the latest release where you can find the latest DMG file. Now run it and just go ahead and drag the app into applications. Now you're going to have to find it in Finder. So you just go to applications, this tab right here on the left, and then you can find it, run it. Um, the first time it'll give you a pop-up. You then want to control click, hit open, and then hit open. And it will never prompt you again for that. So now you have the app, as you can see. So you can go ahead and eject the DMG, which is on my other monitor. And then you want to uh, go ahead and open preferences up here. So here you can go under tracking to customize what directory, what version the tracker is running. You can see uh, you can actually resize the window, in which case you can scroll through as you may expect. Um, the app's actually a little bit too big to fit on the default display when you're in 119, but when you're in 1.16, then it's perfectly fine. So, yeah. Uh, you can adjust the theme in here. Most of these were taken from AA Tool, who, by the way, we got permission from them in order to do this. We didn't just nab everything. But. Now I'm going to go over the overlay in a sec here. Uh, you have the updates, you can manually check, you can stop it from automatically checking. Um, you have that, I'll go over later. Okay, so let's open the overlay. So the overlay you can open from either view, toggle overlay, or you can do command O. And you may notice that the window is already transparent. Hang on, I've got to find the top here. Um, you can adjust its width, but you can't adjust the height. And it works a little differently, you can see it doesn't scroll. It just uh, switches when this bar reaches the bottom to another page. And so I'm now going to show you how to overlay it. So if I load into the game here and then quickly add part of the overlay, just add a window capture, select it in the drop down, and resize. And um, you'll notice that there's a little bit of extra height with it. Um, so in order to fix that, you do Command E, and then depending on the resolution of your display, um, if you're on a 4K monitor, you can switch this to 56, and it will cut off the top menu bar. Or if you're on like a 1080p monitor, then you want to do 28. But since I have it on my Retina display, I'm setting it to 56. Um, I actually have to do that with this too. So that's just a little quirk of how things are recorded. That might actually change in Mac OS when Ventura comes out, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, so now the overlay is there. You can, the great thing about the fact that it doesn't scroll is that you can resize it and you don't really have to worry about any artifacts. So you can resize it and then you just adjust the width as you please here. And you can have this on your other monitor. And you're golden. Uh, one last thing to go over is the notes tab. So here you can just have any notes you want. And here you can put coordinates to any place. So it's uh, monument, outpost, stronghold, and then notes for the world. And then, yeah. So then. You can go into the notes tab here to remove their by world. So, yeah, uh, clear all. Okay, and then, yeah, you can, this is pretty self-explanatory. And yeah, that's all. Thank you so much and enjoy running AA.